We're here at a test plot of corn that we planted earlier this spring. It's just about time to get this corn sprayed. So we thought we'd take a minute today to talk about some basics of spraying to try to help you get started as you're hitting the field during the spray season. So we're gonna talk about two different setups. One is an ATV sprayer setup. This is a setup that's available at just about any farm supply store. It's a pretty standard 25 gallon tank. It's got a set of 12 foot booms on it. With a tank like this, you should be set up to spray right at about 10 gallons an acre. So when you're looking at how much coverage you're gonna get, you're gonna cover right about two and a half acres, assuming that you've got your speed and your pressure correct. Our spraying setups are usually set to spray at around 26 to 28 PSI, somewhere in the neighborhood of about six miles an hour. The faster you go, the more pressure you're gonna need. If you're gonna go slower, you're gonna to wanna to back that pressure down. If you're looking at spraying a little bit more ground, you can get in a setup like this one over here. And this is a 110 gallon tank, 20 foot booms. You're still gonna be spraying roughly about 10 gallons an acre, 26 to 28 PSI at roughly six miles an hour, give or take. On the ends of the booms, you'll see a foamer mechanism. And that foamer is there to drop foam as you're spraying to help maintain your spacing and make you a lot more accurate as you spray. There are ATV and UTV mounted foam markers as well. Generally speaking, those booms aren't wide enough to really lose track, but a foamer is nice and it'll make you a little bit more accurate as you're going through and, and spraying your crops this summer. As you get started in spraying, we wanted to cover just a few of the basic chemicals that we use most often to help control uh, weeds in a variety of different settings. First and foremost, if you're using any chemical at all, the most important thing you're gonna need is some sort of a measuring device. The thing to remember with all of your chemicals is um, you want to apply them according to the label. Chemicals are not one of those things where if a little is good, more must be better. Probably the most common chemical that's used in the food plot world, we use it a lot here, is the generic form of what many know as Roundup. Glyphosate is a generic form of that. That is a broad spectrum herbicide. Glyphosate will kill anything that's green outside of what we would normally consider a Roundup ready or a herbicide tolerant crop. So you'll see a lot of Roundup ready uh, soybeans, a lot of Roundup Ready corn. When you're looking at glyphosate, the other thing to keep in mind is like the one that we're using here, Credit 41 Extra. The extra simply means it has an additive in the chemical that helps that stick to that plant. So you don't need to add anything to this um, in order for it to be as effective as it, as it can be. The other two chemicals I wanna to touch on here just briefly are a little more specialized. We use these a lot in our clover and alfalfa plantings. One is clethodim. Clethodim, again, is a generic name for a chemical that specializes in killing grasses. So a lot of people will say, well, I've got a lot of grass in my corn, forgetting that corn is actually a grass and clethodim will kill that as well. If you're looking for something one kind of step up from that, there is another broader spectrum herbicide we have started using it called Vulture. Mazamox is the active ingredient. That chemical will kill a variety of broadleaf weeds as well as grasses within clover and alfalfa stands. It will also work within soybeans if you have particularly tough weeds to kill, and it's really, really effective. It is a more expensive chemical. It's a very low application rate, so it makes a little more sense commercially as we're using it because we do use a fair amount. We do blend these two together from time to time to kill the broadest spectrum of grass within clover and alfalfa. That works pretty well. Last thing I think that's worth noting here is on both the clethodim um, and the vulture that we're using here. For best results on those, you do want to use an additive to that called crop oil. Crop oil will help those stick to that plant, make them a little bit more effective as you're trying to kill those targeted plants. There's lots of chemicals on a wide variety of price ranges that will work for you. If you do have a specific question that you're looking for help on or would like uh, some answers to, please drop a comment. We'd be glad to address those and watch for some future videos uh, coming out soon.